Tobacco use and smoking remain the leading causes of preventable death of disease in the United States and Louisiana. It's estimated 70% uh, of smokers want to quit, but they can't because it's an addiction. Today we meet Christian, a reform smoker who's speaking out to help others commit to quit. My name is Christian Ferenz. I'm 42 years old and I was addicted to cigarettes. And Christian Ferenz's journey to addiction started at a very early age. The first time I ever smoked, I was about six or seven, and we stole our um, grandparents' cigarettes and went under the porch and smoked them. By 15, she was a heavy smoker. In most family pictures, she's holding a cigarette. And she says her addiction hit rock bottom when she was 26. She was diagnosed with breast cancer and was undergoing chemotherapy when this picture was taken. This is a photo of myself uh, standing underneath a no smoking sign, smoking a cigarette while an IV is giving me chemotherapy and fluids. Um, even chemo, even the thought of I'm gonna die from cancer wasn't enough to stop the addiction. She needed help to beat the addiction, so she enrolled in Lane Regional Medical Center's Commit to Quit program, I don't have to where she got free counseling, thing. medicine, and Nicorette gum to help her kick the habit. 20 minutes after your last cigarette, you start to repair your body, your blood, your blood pressure, your heart rate normalize. Um, you have control to improve your health. If it wouldn't have been for them, I, I think I'd probably still, you know, fall back to it. Now Christian says she has more energy to walk, run, and swim. Food tastes better. Her clothes smell better. She says commit to quit not only saved her life, but is also saving her money. When we visited her, she'd been off cigarettes for a year and three months. She estimated she'd save more than $8,000 in cigarette money. I'm about $3,000 away from buying an RV, or not, well, not the drivable kind, but the camper kind, so. It's a lot. Christian shares her story with other smokers, like Linda Johnson, who's trying to quit smoking after 40 years and three to four packs a day. I'm here because I do want to quit smoking. I want to be around for my grandchildren. Somebody got to chase them down. And my health. My granddaughter, well, when she was born, I think reality changed. And it was no longer about just me. It was, I'd, I want to be around for her. What's your message to other smokers? What's the, the most important thing you want them to learn from your story? Find something that you want to live for. Um, find whatever that is and use it to your advantage. And just quit now because it's only going to get worse. And uh, you have an opportunity, go ahead and take it. You can get more information about Commit to Quit at a special heart health fair coming up tomorrow afternoon at the Lane Cardiovascular Center in Zachary. Runs from 1 to 4. You can get more information and register at their website, lanermc.org, or by calling 658-4587.